Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the Coin Dictionary. I'm Wu Hu and today I've got for you a Belgian 50 centimes coin from 1969 to talk about. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin. So let's get started. This is a bronze coin. It weighs 2.75 grams, 19 millimeters in diameter, 1.21 millimeters thick with a smooth edge. And this is the obverse, actually. We see the crown face value, 50 centimes, which splits the year, 1969, and the country named Belgium, written in French up above, Belgique. Uh, as I've mentioned in other Belgian coin videos, uh, Belgium uh, mints coins with French text and other coins with Dutch text, as you can see here. This one's a different year, but you get the idea. Uh, Despite that, uh, these were, were produced from 1952 all the way up to 2001. Then the following year, the euro uh, replaced the Belgian franc at a rate of 40 francs to 1 euro. The mintages of each language are slightly different. 1969 has a mintage of 10 million for the French text and, well, 10 million for the Dutch text as well. So this is one of the cases where uh, the mintages for each one uh, each different language, rather, are the same. Now, normally this coin is metal aligned as we flip it over and we see an image of a miner, which is adapted from the work of Constantin Meunier uh, with a mining lamp behind and the engraver's name down below, Rao, as in Marcel Rao. Uh, as I was saying, uh, this is actually a coin aligned coin. So if I turn it on its axis like this, it still remains right side up. However, uh, there were some uh, some of these coins that came out metal alignment instead, and those carry a bit of a premium um, if you happen to find one. But as far as values for the normal coin aligned coins like this one, in average circulated condition, this is probably only about a dime to about a quarter. The best you could probably hope for is about $1.50 in a uh, high, high mint state grade. So not, not anywhere, this, this coin is not gonna get anywhere near that price. But that just makes it an inexpensive way to get into world coin collecting. Mm -hmm. Anyway, hope that cleared up some information about this coin, and I'll see you next time when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram at thecoindictionary, and I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like CoinMeltPrice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a new source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.